We're, we're good again. Good? It's probably Jake, actually. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Most likely. Yeah. But yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, going back to Jeremiah. Yeah. Jeremiah 2, verse, uh, verse 14 now. It says, uh, Is Israel a servant? Is he a home born slave? That's right, because that's, that's, the cap that's what we're. That's the that's the uh, identity, not the identity, but that's the state we're in right now. You know, we're, we're, we're homegrown slaves, we're, we're, we're servants, we're the so-called white people, man. Right? Uh, and these other nations, too. Huh. We're, at the, we're at the bottom of, of, the, of, the, of the food chain. <laughs> you know? Way bottom. Way bottom. We're like planking. Yeah. Right on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. It says, why is he spoiled? That's why nice. is he spoiled, man? Right? Yeah, you know. <laughs> just show me the video of the, the, the dad get, getting in an uproar for you still not treating him. Yeah. We're, we're, we, we got, here in Canada, dad is in the reserves. And then over there in America, so-called America, so-called Canada, so-called America, Jake, the, the so-called Negroes, the Latinos are in the, in the ghettos. Together. Together. And what do they got there? They got all the, they have the gun shops, the liquor, the, the liquor stores, stores the McDonald's. all the McDonald's, all crowd up in there. Right yeah. beside each other. Huh. And then like in their rich neighborhoods, you know, you barely see one liquor store. Yeah, right? oh yeah, I know. You barely yeah. see one liquor store, maybe, maybe one, a few gun stores, a couple McDonald's. It's, it, hey man, it's all, it's, it's all in plain sight too, that's a crazy thing. Yeah. But the Lord literally has to open up your your spiritual eye, so-called third eye, you know, to see that it's that pineal gland. Your spirit, you have to open up your spirit to see that. You know, you, you, you like we're at the, we're the butt of every joke. Yeah. You know, like uh, uh, on Father's Day. You know how many memes I see about Negroes on Father's Day? Oh, my dad wasn't here. Yeah. Happy Father's Day. All that stupid shit. You know. Yeah. And even just like you know, with you know, I'm. Uh, That's that lamentation. Lamentation. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah, kind of, you know, and just with like, you know, um, every day, you know, I'm uh, advertising, you know, like, whenever, you know, you see a Jake woman, I'm a, you know, I'm a usually, you know, I'm a the woman, like, you know, she's by herself, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, just, you know, just, you know, just with that, and even just like, you know, with these, uh, you know, I'm a Disney shows, you know, the black woman, like, you know, she's always, you know, single, yeah. you know? <laughs> Like, you know, she's always single and raising two or three or more children by herself, you know. That's Esau, you know. Actually, like, you know, he's, you know, I'm a downgrading, you know, our us, man. Yeah, well, hey, it's a big thing now. Uh, well, it's been a big thing that these, these Jake women are all with these Edomite men. Like, because we're not good enough, right? And we're not in power. Hey, these women follow us in power. Yeah. And we're not in power. So if we're not empowering the so-called white men in power, well, guess what? Our women are going to be flocking to them. The white man himself is a fucking faggot. You see? Man. Well, what, what need does he have for a woman if he's a faggot? Show you how weak. See, Esau's just all fucked up, man. He's so messed up. You know, Esau would be, Esau would be a faggot and pop guys. When he has the baddest, when he, he has baddest, baddest women, you know, yeah. just at his fingertips. Yeah. And see, that's, that's just literally to me, that's just corrupted. Mm -hmm. You had a, it's like, it's like you rather choose to eat shit than a gourmet <laughs> meal. Yeah. A nice, you know, I'm a sweet savor lamb. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. But you, you <laughs> just want to go to the other hit Mickey D's. <laughs> what the fuck? Because it's fast and it's quick. That's messed up, man. That's all it's jacked up. Verse 15. The young lions roared upon him and yelled, and they made his land waste. His cities. Right, those young lions are so called white men. You know, starting off with, uh, heck, we, you, know, you can talk about Columbus, but if you really want to. You can go back to the uh, Roman, Roman yeah, or the, 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 is, the yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? Not uh, there's a name that? for you. Not right. even before, like when um, the Romans just destroyed Israel. Yeah, yeah. Remember, you know, up to seventy AD. Yeah, seventy in seventy AD. Yeah. You know, when we flew, when we fled from Rome into the America, not the Americas, into the, uh, into Africa, yeah. and to the other four corners of the earth. You know, they made waste of our land, and we fled. And then, even furthermore, we some of us fled over here. They came over here, and they also made waste of this land. Yeah. So no matter where we ran, you know, East the Lord kept having them come at us because Esau is our whooping, our, it's the Lord's whooping stick for us. 
kind, you know. That's why uh, the scripture says that, you know, Esau, you know, is a border of wickedness. So wherever Esau goes, you know, that's where wickedness is, and that's where, you know, Esau, you know, is going to, uh, you know, I'm going to demolish the land, right? You know, because Esau is a border of wickedness. And it only makes sense because Esau's spirit, he's a, he's a vagabond and a fugitive, mm -hmm. going back to Cain. Yeah. So he literally has no home on this earth because the land of Edom is going to be Judites, yeah. Ju uh, Judah's land. So he has no home, so he, he literally in his spirit, he needs to go to different places and conquer to make home. Yeah. That's why they have like over 800, you know, Esau, these Amer Americans have over 800 military bases in different countries, different places. And when you do, when you when you set up a military base in a, in a, in a country, uh, what is that called? It's called a... Uh, I can't, I can't think of the word, Lord really it comes back to you, but basically that word that, it, that it's called means that you take, that you own land. You know, so that's, so I'm showing you these Edomites, on a low key, they look like they don't own anything. Yeah. You know, which is smart, they keep it low key. But when you really, you know, unveil the curtains and look at it, they own everything, man. Um, yeah, because, you know, like here, you know, just like a regular, you know, so-called white man, you know, like, you know, like if you see him walk around the street, like, you know, you might think that, you know, this guy's a, you know, like, you know, he's, he's just another regular man. Yo, but the guy could be, you know, a multi-millionaire. Well, there's a picture, <laughs> you know there's I mean? this one picture of Jake, yeah. and they have an Edomite, yeah. and they got a Jake, and the, the Jake, you know, is all cleaned out, yeah, blessed, grilled. you know, Yo, that's everything. Yeah, that's man, because they're kings, man. And then, so. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's all, all groomed out and stuff, and then on top, he shows his net worth. Zero dollars. Yeah. Right? He spends like four hundred, five hundred dollars on shoes, four hundred dollars on pants, and yeah. designer stuff. He has his Edomite with a plain tee from Walmart. Walmart blue blue jeans and white shoes. Net worth two billion. He's like with glasses waving. <laughs> you know, so it shows you like he's like yeah. Jake. It just the spirit is completely different between Jake and Esau, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you could just see it. You can literally just see it. That's why. Even when you got Jakes that look like Edomites, we can still tell they're Jakes. It's a spiritual thing. Yeah, because you know, yo, you know, Jake, Jake, you know, Jake likes to be decked out, man. Yeah, all of them. You know? I want to be a king in hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Jake. Yeah. 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 Occupation. That's what it's called. Okay. I got a lot of you have help us with the chat. Yeah. It's called occupation. When you have a mil you set up a military base in a land, uh, yeah, it's called occupation. It's called occupation. You're occupying that land, and because when you set up a military base, that's your defense system, right? Yeah. And if you have a defense system, that land's open to anybody to devour. Yeah. So technically, if you defend that land, you own it. Well, you know now, like America, you know, they're actually changing, you know. I'm, uh, you know, I'm at the color of their jets, you know, and they're actually, you know, basically what's happening is, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a, basically what's happening is now, you know, I'm a, they're going to make it, you know, the exact same colors, you know, as the jets, you know, you know, you know, I'm a, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, that the Russians use that way, yeah, you know, yo, so yo, so then, you know, I'm a, that way, you know, I'm a, it was like, you know, I'm a confused, you know, the other nation, they don't know Yeah, saying. exactly, you know. Yeah. Yo, Esau's a, Esau's a damn demon, man, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, but it says, uh, Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 15, The young lions roared upon him and yelled, and they made his land waste. His cities are burnt without inhabitants. Also, the children of Nope and Tabanese have broken the crown of thy head. Hast thou not a pro pro procured this unto thyself, in that thou hast forsaken the Lord Yahweh thy power when he led thee by the way? And now, that's like, and now what hast thou to do in the way of, of uh, Egypt and to drink the waters of Sipor? Or what hast thou to do in the way of Assyria? to drink the waters of the river. Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Thy own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Ultimately, ultimately that's talking about the, the missiles, man. Right? Like, 
Because in the end of the day, uh, Jake's going to be doing all this wicked, doing all this wicked stuff. And because of all the wicked things they're doing, it's going to cause this cause the Lord to what? Bring rain down destruction. Yeah. So that's why it says that the wickedness shall correct them. Because then they're going to because hey, two thirds of Israel is so wicked right now that they have to be done away with. They have to be destroyed and then come back in the kingdom and they'll come back in the kingdom in their right mind. Yeah. There's no there's no like there's no change there's no you know talking with them now. Yeah. The wicked, the wicked. They're set up for, to be the two thirds. The Lord's genius, man. Yeah, good.